In this problem, I need to use a calculator to find my angle theta to the nearest tenth of a degree. If I know that theta lies somewhere between 0 and 360 degrees, that means I'm in degrees, and the sine of theta is 0 0.1045, but theta is in quadrant 2. So I know that the sine of theta is equal to 0 0.1045. Therefore, on the calculator to find theta, I'm going to have to use the inverse sine function of 0 0.1045. But remember, the inverse trig functions have built-in restrictions in them. And remember, for the inverse sine, the answer theta has to lie between negative 90 degrees and positive 90 degrees. So in this case, as the sine of theta is a positive number, under these restrictions, my answer theta when I use the inverse sine function is going to give me an answer in quadrant 1. But I'm looking for an angle in quadrant 2, so I'll then have to use my knowledge of reference angles to get the answer that I want. So let's go look at our calculator. I'm using a TI-83+, plus, and let's turn it on. The first thing you should do is check the mode. I'm already in degrees. So now all I have to do is put this in the calculator. So inverse sine means second sine of 0.1045 four, five, close parentheses, and then hit enter. And so the angle I'm looking for in quadrant one is 5.99836, etc. But remember, I want it to the nearest tenth of a degree. So that means I need it to this position here. So this nine is going to round that nine up to a 10, which is going to round the five up to a six. So theta is going to equal 6.0 degrees. So theta is equal to 6.0 degrees. So remember, but that's the angle in quadrant 1. So I have just, oh, excuse the terrible drawing. I have found an angle here in quadrant 1. Here's my theta. 6 degrees, but remember an angle in quadrant 1 is equal to its reference angle. So the reference angle for this angle is 6 degrees. Now what I'm looking for is I'm looking for an angle here in quadrant 2. I want this angle here. So here is my angle theta, the angle that I'm looking for. And we have to use our knowledge of reference angles to find this angle theta. Well, remember, reference angles are the acute angle that the terminal side makes with the x-axis. So, so here is the reference angle. And notice the reference angle for the red angle and the black angle are equal. So I know that theta prime is equal to 6.0 degrees. So now to find angle theta, all I have to do is look at the picture and I can tell the angle from the positive x axis to the negative x axis is 180 and then all I have to do is subtract 6 degrees to get the angle I want. Because remember, in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 2, the sine of theta is going to be positive. So this is my second angle that I'm looking for. So theta equals the angle in quadrant 2 that I want is 180 minus 6.0 degrees. So the angle in quadrant 2 that I'm looking for is 174.0 degrees. 